and Papamota. How does it feel to play in this tournament and how does the game uh, today? First of all, it's absolutely amazing to play in the arena. Um, I mean, the passion for badminton here in Indonesia is so crazy and the crowd is just amazing. So it's an absolute pleasure to play here every time and it's a big dream for me to, to win a tournament here in Stores and I. It's an iconic place that we always talk about in Denmark. Um, and we are really excited when we are going to tournaments here. So um, it's, it's absolutely crazy to, to win here. It's my first Super 500 win. And uh, to beat Kento in the finals is even, even crazier. So, yeah. Back in 2016, we won like, a lot of kind of learn Spanish and then uh, Spanish. So, I feel this is like your first in the title. So, how does it feel? Uh, how, what this title means to you? And how does it feel to win your first major title without a coach on your side? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, it's. it's um, it's amazing to think about that I started playing badminton when I was maybe six years old, and I've always been dreaming about winning one of these titles. So it's crazy that uh, I'm finally, finally here, finally have done it. And, and as you said, it's my first major title. I can't even describe how good it feels. Um, yeah, what was the question? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's insane. I played this semi final and the final without a coach. Um, and yesterday I was one against, and maybe I don't know how many can be, how many can sit in the arena, but me against everyone, against Christian. That was uh, crazy, but today they were cheering a little bit more for me, so I felt like I had some backup today uh, from, from the crowd, and that was great. Um, but I mean, it's crazy to do alone, but I, I could also want to share with someone. Uh, I mean, my coaches, or my former coaches, or yeah, they will probably, probably be my coaches again. But but um, I would like to have shared it with them. They have had a huge, um, I mean, part of all this. So yeah, but it's uh, it's insane to do it alone. Um, how does it feel? Uh, those medals for you in the next year, for your career. How did it feel? Those I mean, this never goes away. <laughs> Even how my career is going to end up, I will always have this one to, <laughs> yeah, to take off one day when I'm 50 and think that was when I was 21, I won in Indonesia. <laughs> so I'm so proud and I will be probably fired up. Uh, how can you control yourself without coach, without support, anything? This kind of crucial, you know, the final match against Momota. How can you control yourself? I'm trying to just stay. Yeah, it's easier said than done. But I'm, I, I'm trying to keep calm and try to stay inside my own head, and control my thoughts, and just think about every breath I take. Try to. I mean, use, use the audience's energy, but not use it too much. Still try to, to stay calm and just think of every step, every breath I take. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Going into the final, uh, I mean, you saw the way Kendo played against uh, Victor, right? So, what essentially uh, did you tell yourself before going to the final in terms of what to expect from Kendo? I've had a few good, good matches with him. Before I've lost three times, but two of the times I felt like like I had a chance actually, and I got a set from him uh, twice. So um, I mean, I've seen his match against uh, Genting and his match against Victor, and he was amazing. So, but I have also gained good confidence from the previous matches this tournament. So I felt that if I can do my absolute best. I might have a little chance and I will do my absolute best to, you know, if I have 10%, then I throw all out to, you know, yeah, to try to do it. I don't know. Okay, next question. Uh, what do you think about the Indonesian Mexicans? Indonesian Mexicans? Yes. Um, they are really good. I think they have brought something new to the game. Uh, Jonathan and uh, Gintzi. Mostly, uh, they are super, super fast and have 
great technique, um, and as I talked with Jonathan about uh, after the match yesterday, that we are going, probably going to face each other many times in the future. So, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be exciting to see the progress um, from their side and my side, and hopefully we can be some of the best players in the world in the next 10 years, maybe. So, I think they're really good. Thank you. 